Hey everybody and welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jess and today's video is going to be a Project Pan update video. I am filming this on the Sunday so it will be coming out slightly later than my videos have been coming out because I've been scheduling, sh scheduling them to come out at 7am on the Sunday morning. Let's jump straight on into this update. We have some super 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 exciting progress this update. I feel like we can really see movement happening, things changing. And that's making me so excited. So last month I introduced the idea of with my blush, my blushes rotating through using 20 uses and then rotating around my collection. I rolled in the I Heart Revolution Soft Simmer Blusher in Strawberry last month and my goal was to have 20 uses on it. And as you can tell by like how dirty the lid is looking, I've definitely hit those 20 uses. I think I've even gone above that. Absolutely love this blush, it's stunning. It's a perfect like pinky shade that everyone is obsessed with at the moment and you can get it glowy by adding more of the strawberry in the middle or you can have matte if you target towards the outside edges. That's a bubblegum pink shade so you can see kind of like the difference of where you hit. That one was like a mix of both, this one was the matte and then this is just the shimmer alone. So it's really really versatile and I absolutely love this blush and I will be continuing to use it but I have reached my 20 uses goal as you can probably see by the way that the strawberry is looking a little bit more messed up than it was last update. To replace that blush, I'm going to be rolling in a very similar toned blush. This is the Revolution Baked Blood. It baked blush in Bang Bang You're Dead. I've been using this the last couple of days and absolutely loving it. It's really, really great. I feel like these are underrated blushes, although the actual full size of this product is absolutely massive. So you can see it's very similar in tone. I've just been absolutely loving this tone of blush recently. Again, the goal will be 20 uses. I've been on the edge about this product for a very very long time i have had no progress in it for a very long time didn't even get to show it in the last update because i forgot to take it with me and i have decided this is a product that is just going to be decluttered i just don't think the formula is any good on it anymore it's always been kind of rough like the formulation has been kind of rough but i've tried repressing it twice and it just doesn't change the formula it still gets really bad hard pan it's really difficult to blend and it's really sad so i did you try to use this product as a crushed down bronzer if you guys didn't know and haven't been watching the pretty pan then this is the bronzer from the tarte lazy night ladies night palette i've tried using it as a loose bronzer now the thing is it is pretty like it's a really 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 lovely tone bronzer and i do wish that it worked for me but i just can't get it <clears throat> I just can't get it to work for me and I have other bronzers in my collection that I really enjoy and I don't have to work this hard for so I have decided that this one is just going to be leaving my collection unfortunately. To replace that product I'm going to be rolling in this, this is the Revolution Lip Liner in Ch Chauffeur I think is the name of it, it's like all rubbed off but yeah I only own two lip liners, it's something like, it's a collection I would like to revamp completely in my collection. I have no problems shopping in this either which is just so good. So the starting line with this one is right up here. So yeah, we're starting with quite a lot of product left but I honestly think I could get about two three sharpens every week um, from this because I'm going to put it in my actual like makeup drawer on my desk instead of over by my other lip products um, and I think I could just literally use it as like a one and done colour and then chuck a bit of lip balm over the top and that could be like my day to day lip. Yeah, I do think that I can definitely make a decent amount of progress on this. It is already pretty small, so I don't think it's going to take too long and I don't think it's going to be too exhausting to try and use. Okay, moving on to super, 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 super exciting updates. I have finally finished this powder. This was the last of the Revolution Lace Powder. This is what the full-size product look like. looks like. I have officially finished the complete entire product, which I think is so impressive and I would definitely repurchase. This powder is really great value for money. You get so long out of it. I believe I've had it for like a couple of years, if not a little bit longer, which is past when you're recommended. I think the recommended is 24 months. And I will be rolling in another Revolution powder. This is the Revolution Translucent Loose Setting Powder. This is talc free and supposedly has no flashback and it's auto it's also water resistant. This is the powder that was in my travel makeup bag which basically stayed at home. Um I will see if I can link the video either in the cards. I don't know how to do that so I'll see if I can actually figure that out. I will either link the video up in the cards or in the comments in the description box below where I go through the bag that I left at my hometown um, that went between my partner's house and my family house. So this packaging is the bane of my existence. Like this thing is great. You have to pull it off. Hang on. Can you see all of that powder that just went everywhere? And then you've got this with your little revolution thing. I think the packaging is inventive. 
I will go than that. However, it's so bloody messy. Like, I know it's not going to be this messy once I've used up a little bit of it, but this is why I'm keeping this container because I'm going to pour a little bit of the product out of the bottom of here into this and use that first and then go back to just this packet because it actually look drives me nuts like and i cannot be doing that every single morning for like the first two weeks i'm using this i think this will take probably until autumn to finish and i think that's like putting it lightly it could take the whole rest of the year but we will see i won't exclusively be using this powder i will also be going back to my maybelline powder as well um but yeah i i'm really excited to get a proper test out of this and actually use it i have officially finished my dull 10 hydrogel cream balm blush in stop i'm blushing this is the last dull 10 no it's not I lied, I've got the concealer and foundation left. This is the last cream face product from them that I had. It is completely gone. I haven't like cleaned it properly out yet, but it's completely gone. What an accomplishment. This cream blush again has been years in the making to finish it off completely. And I was contemplating putting my milk makeup stick in because I do use that blush literally every single day. I'm wearing it today underneath my powder blush, but I decided that I'm gonna take a little break from it and also like I'm not really in a rush to finish that blush either so if I don't make progress I don't mind but it would be cool to see how long it takes to use up that product but anyway to replace this I'm going to be changing categories and it is, <laughs> I'm going to be putting in the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Antioxidant Concealer in wrong shade. I've got two shades that's why it's the wrong one. <laughs> in the shade 022. I don't think there is a lot of product left in here. This is the shade Stan Sand Sable. I am super intrigued to see how long this takes to finish. That could be a very, very like underestimated mark. It could be still like here, but from pushing in the tube, it kind of starts coming out at like down here. So it's about this much product, probably just stuck at the end though, because I store it kind of downwards. Um, yeah, I'm rolling in this concealer. I use it any day, every day anyway, so we'll be able to see continuous progress throughout the months. So yeah, no complaints about this one. It's just a really easy roll in, something that I use every day anyway. Which takes us nicely on to the rest of the products that are still that we are still making progress on in this project. So I have the Lorazzi contour stick in Aloha, and this is how much we have left now. This has had no progress for the last couple of months and that's because i've been working on the contour palette instead from barry m however i do think i'm going to be using some of this to put it into this container to have like a cream bronzer that i can dip a sponge in and i feel like as well we can see more visual satisfying progress from this as well the sun's coming out um but yeah i feel like we'll be able to see more visual progress as well and also it'll probably just be quite satisfying to put this in here i don't know i think to start off with i'm only going to put half and then i will see if i end up using this more because it's in this packaging speaking of the barry m contour palette um the contour cream kit this is what we are looking at or like right now you can see i've made excellent progress in these top two shades again really continued that progress on i haven't really dipped into the yellow that much really been enjoying the brightness that these two give and the color correction that this one gives from darkness the contour shade i don't know if you can see but this is the pan like all of this is pan which is a little bit of product over the top and then there's a little bit of product around the edges but i am pretty close i think to finishing it and by pretty close i mean it's still probably got about like four or five months left in it but I do think that I could definitely finish this by the end of the year I've been using this every single day and honestly I'm really really enjoying it I just dip my finger in here and then just dot it on the places that I want I think for now I'm still going to continue to expand the pans in these two um and once they're expanded a set amount then I might even repress them like I did this one down here this is the Tarte Ladies Night palette the highlighter in here we're working on and I repressed this this past month into the pan. And as you can see, we have already hit pan again. Can you see how thin the product is in that pan? I definitely think I may have to repress it once more before finish. But um, I will say there was more product than what I thought. But then again, not because it only took me two uses to hit the pan. So yes, I definitely think there's a little bit more product in this corner than it is over here on this side. So I think... My goal is going to be to expand this pan this way first, the thinner way, and then start working on this bit over here. 
Um, and then if we get to like a certain point where I need to repress again, I will just repress right into the middle of the pan. I absolutely love this highlighter. It's been, again, a few years in the making to use this up, but I am so, so, so excited for when this one is finished. Also in here we have a foundation. This is the Revlon Photo Ready Candid foundation and this is in shade 120 and our progress on this is insane we're all the way down to here i know like at the front it looks like we're a little bit higher but we're generally not we are getting right down to the bottom of this product um now you can see how see-through it is like in real life i can see all the way through there's a little bit of product on the edges here that needs to be pushed down but yeah we're getting super super close to this now i think another one to two months and then this will be completely gone and i think I actually might be panning another foundation but that would depend on if I get a tan or not because if I get a little bit tanned then I won't be able to match the foundation I'm thinking of panning next but we will see when the time comes but I think there's another month if not then two left in here. Also in here we have a brow pencil this is the natural collection brow pencil I have been using my brow powder a lot recently so that's why there is very little progress in this one also I lost my pencil sharpener so I just didn't use it for ages until I re a pencil sharpener yesterday to sharpen it so yeah, it's literally had like one mini sharpen this past month so not a lot of progress in this one quite disappointing to see but i will be starting to use it again thinking i could easily get two pencil sharpenings if not even maybe three in one month so i really want to try and see if i can get two to three pencil sharpenings in this next month um so that's going to be my goal to actually use this every day that i wear makeup so i can sharpen it twice or three times and we can see how much progress that makes because i'm curious to see the amount of progress that that would make if I used it actually like every single day instead of just in and out with my brow powder. And then finally we have the Scene Dry Skin Aloe Vera Non-Greasy Body Lotion. This is from Lidl. Um, really, really enjoy this actually. It's such a good one. This was 500 milliliters. This month's progress has not been as impressive as the other months. This month here was just insane. But I think, I don't remember where it was for that, but I was just using it every day, I think. Um, Yep, this one is quite small progress, unfortunately, but I do think we have probably like a half of this progress coming up because A, I really want this to be done before I move, <laughs> so I'm not moving another body lotion, um, and B, because I have started using this every time that every time that I get out of the shower. I do think this has two more months in it though, so if I don't finish it this month, I won't be disappointed, but I definitely think that I will be finishing it next month. If I don't if I don't finish it in the next update, then it will definitely be the next one, I think. So I think this has about two months left in it. If we're talking reasonably about if I forget to use it, then there's some leeway there. Yeah, that is everything for today's update. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe to my channel if you're new around here. I want to see more videos from me, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Bye!